I have never seen something that reverses hearing loss like this. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how one of my patients went from a severe to profound level hearing loss down to a mild level hearing loss in just six months and how you can do it too. Now I know you're thinking that the title of this video just has to be clickbait, but I promise you that it is not and I am not posting this video on April Fool's Day. But I do have a patient story that is so crazy you probably won't believe it. But before I share this patient's story, do me a huge favor, click the like button. It really helps out the channel and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on. It is greatly appreciated. And if you would like me to invite this individual to the Dr. Cliff show so I could interview him about his experience, just let me know down in the comment section. Okay, so about eight months ago, I had a patient travel to see me inside of my clinic to get a second opinion on his hearing aid treatment. In my clinic, we do something that we call our Applied 360 Review Consultation, where we do a complete review of a patient's existing hearing aid treatment following best practices to identify if they've been optimized properly. If not, we put them through our Applied 360 Refit process, where we again follow best practices to make sure that we optimize the performance of their existing hearing aids or get them new hearing aids that we optimize. This particular individual had a severe to profound level hearing loss and very bad word recognition scores of only 52% in his right ear, 36% in his left ear, with a binaural score of only 44%. These word recognition scores mean that when this individual is optimally treated with his hearing aids, he's only going to be able to comprehend between 36 and 52% of speech information in a quiet environment. To add insult to injury, this individual struggled really bad in background noise. His speech and noise score was a 19 decibel signal to noise ratio loss, which means that he actually needs speech to be 19 19 decibels louder than the background noise before he can understand 50% of what someone is telling him. And just to give you a little bit more context here, a 19 decibel separation means that the speech has to be four times as loud as the background noise, which is virtually impossible to do with just using hearing aids. And for a little bit more context, someone with quote unquote normal hearing has a speech and noise score of between zero and three decibels. Now this individual had just recently purchased the Phonak Audio Sphere Infineo hearing aids based on the detailed review that I did of that hearing aid on my channel. His original clinic did get him custom ear molds, but he still was not performing very well. Honestly, not a huge surprise given how bad his hearing really is. If I'm being honest, this individual would have qualified for a cochlear implant, which probably would give him better hearing performance, but everybody gets to make their own decision on what's right for them, and he chose to go the hearing aid route. During my Applied 360 review consultation, I identified three different things. First, using real ear measurement, I was able to identify that he was being over amplified in the low frequency ranges, which caused a phenomenon called upward spread of masking. This is when you amplify low frequencies too much and it drowns out the clarity that you would get from mid and high frequency amplification. Second, all of his digital features were left in the default position, meaning they never went in and customized the digital features to where they would be more optimal for this individual's hearing. And third, he had not undergone any type of auditory training to help his brain process what he was hearing from his new hearing aids. So our game plan for this individual, since he had really good hearing aids already, was to just put him through our Applied 360 refit process with his existing hearing aids. Using Realer measurement, we were able to reprogram the amplification levels of his hearing aids to be more in alignment with what his hearing loss prescription was. This way we were able to prevent the upward spread of masking that was plaguing him with his initial programming of these hearing aids to make sure that we were able to maximize the clarity from these devices. Then we were able to go in and customize all of the digital features once we started to identify what he needed more of and what he needed less of. Once we knocked his hearing aid programming out of the park, we then had to go into the third phase of his treatment, which was auditory training using Lace AI Pro. Now I will say that we can typically predict how well someone is going to do once they go through our Applied 360 refit process, but this individual is completely different. Something happened that we did not expect and I still do not believe it to this day. You see, when we optimize hearing aids for an individual who has a severe to profound level hearing loss, we expect them to perform like an individual who has a severe to profound level hearing loss, which means they continue to struggle hearing and background noise situations, they struggle with clarity of speech, they struggle to process what they're hearing quick enough so they can actually have conversations with fast talkers, and they have a really difficult time with their working memory, which means that they struggle with the recall of what they've heard. However, this individual did not have any 
of those limitations. It was almost like he no longer had a severe to profound level hearing loss anymore. So the question that I started asking was, what the heck happened? How did this individual significantly outperform virtually everybody with this severe of a hearing loss? Well, it turns out that this individual took auditory training using the Lace AI Pro app very seriously. Now to quickly bring you up to speed on what you can do inside of Lace AI Pro is you can train on speech and noise, you can train on fast talkers, and you can train on your working memory. And typically you do one training module per day. This individual was doing multiple training modules per day. Now the research tells us that when someone does auditory training using Lace AI Pro, it does improve their ability to hear. But how much they improve is dependent on the individual and how much they train. And the crazy thing is a hearing care professional can track all of this stuff. Now remember how I mentioned earlier that this individual had a 19 decibel signal to noise ratio loss score when I tested him in my clinic? Well, instead of getting a six decibel signal to noise ratio improvement going from a 19 down to a 13, which still leaves him with a severe hearing difficulty and background noise, he went from a 19 down to a four. This means that he went from a severe level of difficulty in background noise down to a mild level difficulty in background noise. Remember, someone with normal hearing needs between zero and three decibels of separation of the speech over the background noise, and he's now able to do it at a four decibel separation. He's only one decibel away in a signal to noise ratio loss score from what a normal hearing person would be able to perform at when in background noise. And when you consider that every one decibel of improvement in this score is roughly equivalent to a 10% improvement in performance, he basically improved his performance by 150%. And he did that just by training like crazy using Lace AI Pro. Now guys, this is the same exact auditory training app that you can get access to yourself. In fact, I do have a link to the app in the description of this video with a discount code for Dr. Cliff channel subscribers. And there are a variety of hearing care professionals across the United States that can get you access to this app as well. And here's the thing, the speech and noise improvement is not the only benefit that this patient got from using Lace AI Pro. He was also able to significantly improve his understanding of fast talkers by around 160 words per minute. Now just to give you some context here when it comes to rate of speech, people who are slow talkers speak at around 100 words per minute, and people who are fast talkers, like myself, speak at around 200 words per minute. When this individual initially started his training, he could only understand speech at around 120 words per minute, so a relatively slow talker. Now, this individual can understand people speaking at 280 words per minute. If you want an idea of what 280 words per minute sounds like, increase the speed of this video by one and a half. This level of improvement does not happen without auditory training, and on top of that, this level of improvement does not happen for people with a severe to profound level hearing loss, no matter how perfectly they're treated with hearing aids. But that's not all. He was also able to improve his recall and retention using the working memory module inside of Lace AI Pro. Working memory is incredibly important when it comes to hearing. Many individuals with hearing loss, whether they're treated or untreated, have difficulty processing information to the point where they can recall it and retain it. Now this individual is able to accurately recall 70% of what he hears within seven seconds. Now this may not mean anything to you, but essentially this is a 40% improvement in his accuracy of recall and a 50% speed increase to do so. This makes communicating with people in a real world environment substantially easier. By all measures, this individual is significantly outperforming anyone with a severe to profound level hearing loss, and quite honestly, he's outperforming individuals who have a mild level hearing loss. This individual needs to be studied inside of a lab or something because his results are virtually unbelievable. I have never seen anyone go from a speech and noise score of 19 down to a four unless they were using the most expensive hearing aids in the world using a remote listening device like a clip-on microphone that they had on somebody else's shirt. I've never seen anyone improve their ability to understand fast talkers by 160 words per minute, and I've never seen anyone improve their recall and retention accuracy and speed by 40 and 50 percent. At the end of the day, this individual may be a total anomaly, but it just shows that if you really commit to auditory training, specifically using Lace AI Pro, you can significantly outperform whatever your hearing loss is. Of course, if you would like to learn more about Lace AI Pro, I will have my detailed review video in the description of this video as well, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the end screen right over here, so all you have to do is click on that if you wanna watch it next.